Pretty much every Tiburon owner knows that it's a nightmare whenever you spray on the windshield with the window open. It's a mess in the car. Closing the windows doesn't help a lot either. It's an instant river and it leaves a lot of marks. So what can we do to improve that? So why does this happen in the first place? Simple, it's a simple lack of uh, protection from Hyundai on the side of the windshield and the roof to guide the water. So we're just gonna install our own. All you'll need is 10 to 15 feet uh, of P-type rubber seal. So why P-type? Simply because if I reverse it, it's the shape of a P. Uh, it's cheap, you can find uh, enough for less than 10 bucks and we'll install it on the side uh, above the window just like this to make a nice guard and guide for the rain we'll install it all the way above the window I will stop here, I don't really care if I have some water going on that window because it's basically useless uh, if you want you can go further uh, up until this point for example but for me I'll stick to here so, you need some degreaser, whether it's liquid degreaser or spray degreaser, like brake cleaner, I use brake cleaner. So you shake it, you spray it generously, and the most important, you really clean it and dry it a lot. The most important part is to have a very clean surface and dry surface, that's the key for your rubber seal to stick for long, for long time. So you'll measure about uh, what you need, uh, be generous, we'll cut the excess, it's really easy to cut. Uh, you cut like that, with a scissor or anything, a razor blade, anything. You check that you have enough, one last time, and then it's pretty straightforward, you just peel the, the backing and glue it. Uh, you'll glue it all, all, all the way around. Uh, be sure to be slow, take your time, do it right, uh, have it really straight and really be careful not to pull on the, on the rubber while you, you stick it, it's important so it doesn't stretch when, you, when, when we, it will dry. Cut the excess and we're almost done. Press a little bit on it everywhere so you are sure it sticks well and has no leaks. If you want you can trim the edges like this, the corners, to, to, to look prettier. And you're done! That's it! Uh, so here you really can see it uh, because we just installed it but I can guarantee that you get quickly used to it and people who don't know the car really don't notice it. Uh, it's really discreet, it's black and black, you really can't see it. And I had the chance the very day after to test it under the rain and as you can see there is nothing going through, it's perfect. Alright folks, uh, that's it for today's episode, I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, I will normally make more and more videos in the future, uh, both uh, quick videos with quick DIYs like this one that everyone can do. Uh, as well as uh, bigger videos with the turbo build, etc. Uh, so if you're interested, uh, please consider subscribing, following, whatever. And I will see you in the next one. Ciao.